The elements involved in individual concealment are the basic simple tricks practiced by the pioneers, taking advantage of natural cover, utilizing every blade of grass to hide from a possible enemy. Now, even as then, invisibility spells safety and effectiveness in hitting back, in making your firepower count. Remember, you never know when you're being watched until it is too late. Before leaving the bivouac area, a soldier should take certain measures to make himself inconspicuous. Although his uniform blends fairly well with woods, brush, and grass, the regular outline of his steel helmet, contrasted with the irregularity and broken shadows around him, is a dead giveaway, an invitation to a well-aimed bullet. To break up this outline, a strong rubber band is placed on the helmet. Improvised wire hooks are then used to keep the band from slipping off. Leaves are stuck in the band. Usually a few branches will do the trick. The idea is simply to break up the outline of the helmet effectively. This man, however, is making a common mistake. He is over camouflaging. Don't forget, too much foliage may be worse than none at all. A color that is darker than the surroundings is more difficult to detect than one that is too light. Therefore, faded web equipment is stained a dark olive green with an issue dye to blend with the average terrain. Learn to do a thorough job. Darken every accessible portion. This may seem an unimportant factor, but your life is not. The color and oily surfaces of the body reflect light. Important, consequently, in individual concealment is the blackening of the soldier's face, hands, and the back of his neck. An application of mud or clay, which can usually be found in the field, will stop this reflection. Don't be afraid of mud. It hurts less than bullets. Energetic preparation of all equipment before coming into contact with the enemy will ensure you're facing him with the advantage in your favor. A shiny ring or watch or anything you might not think of can flash like a mirror in the sun. Very important in individual concealment, in keeping your position under cover, is the apparently innocent shadow. If there is no shade, walk so that the shadows are thrown off the roadway. In this way, their regularity is broken up by the foliage. It may seem to you that from great heights, you are quite inconspicuous and even completely hidden. But the opposite is true. Moving shadows of regular pattern quickly catch an air observer's eye, serve as splendid targets for his bombs or machine guns. A thickly wooded area always provides excellent cover. Besides helping to mask your activities from the enemy's air reconnaissance, it protects you from ground observation. This man takes excellent cover in a slight depression in the ground and hidden from hostile eyes 
works his way forward. Keep spread out when seeking cover. The more men in one place, the more concentrated enemy fire is apt to be. If long stretches cannot be avoided, they should be crossed in a series of rushes by small groups. This keeps a large number of men firing all the time and conceals the exact size of the attacking force. Long grass may give you away when you crawl through it. You then become a fine target and a casualty. These soldiers take advantage of every bit of concealment the terrain offers. A bush or a dip in the ground gives them ample protection. An observer should never appear on the skyline or against a light background. Silhouetting himself, he makes the sniper's job easy. This man takes cover correctly, as does this one. This soldier is against a light background, and although partially protected by the shell hole, is still easily discernible. Hitting the shady side of a bush makes you difficult to get. The sunny side means black against white, and therefore an easy mark. It is suicidal to attempt to observe over a bush. Best concealment is obtained by remaining motionless behind natural terrain features. If observation is necessary, cautious handling of yourself will get you by. Keep your head down and look between rocks and bushes, not around or above them. A prominent landmark, like this bush, should be avoided. It is so obvious that the enemy will fire at it every so often on the off chance that someone is there. Shrewd use of cover will make it difficult for the enemy to find you in his sights. Move across open stretches in short rushes. Now zigzag. Hit the ground. You will be an inconspicuous target. Individual concealment will enable you to close with the enemy with the advantage yours. An appreciation of the principles of individual concealment is an appreciation of your own safety. If you watch out for natural color of surrounding country, peculiarity of terrain, lights and shadows, this man will not see you.